To find out, I'm in Wales to meet the 2014 Eden Shorts winner, Simon Owen, and one of the animals that made his film so outstanding. Simon, yeah. congratulations Thank you very much, Jess. on being the winner. I mean, yeah. all of the judges, Emma, Michaela and I, we loved your film, and the yes. script was fabulous. How did you come up with those evocative words? I knew the kind of message that I wanted to get across in terms of, you know, trying to encourage people to get outdoors and go and appreciate the natural world. I was looking at poems and psalms and songs and all kinds of things, and then nothing really ticked all the boxes. So, right, I'm going to have to do this myself. So I sat down over kind of a, sort of one evening and, and started to jot down the ideas, sort of elements that I really liked and wanted to say, and eventually got to a point where um, I think it, it works, and hopefully it works anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, it's word perfect. Your videography was beautiful as well. How long have you been shooting? Uh, probably since I was about 12 years old, so, you know, you're talking 15, 15 years or so. Um, I'd always go out and just start filming a friend skateboarding or whatever it was. And that's how I got into using cameras. From that age, really, always wanted to shoot a, a wildlife film. The amazing thing also was how you seemed to get into the mind of the animals that you were filming, the kingfisher or a red kite. You know, how, how do you do that? You need to learn how the animal moves and, you know, with the kites, for example, just trying to notice, like, when, when maybe the kite's going to stoop to pick something up off the floor and, and seeing its head kind of turn and then it'll bend over backwards to dive down. So that only comes from seeing the kite in action and, and, and filming lots and lots and lots of attempts until you get that kind of perfect shot. So um, the brilliant thing about your film is it inspires everyone that sees it to get outside into the countryside. Well, that's fantastic. That was the aim, really. If it did that, then I'm really happy, yeah. It even makes me want to leave this lovely fire and go with you and see one of your film stars. <laughs> it would take much more than a toasty fire for me to miss this. A wildlife spectacular at nearby Gigrin Farm. A special lunch is about to be served. The diners are gathering in the skies above. This is such a spectacle, I've brought my children, Ella and Theo, along with me. Look, look Ella, look at all those up there. See if you can get a photo. There's over 400 red kites. Oh, this is extraordinary. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? And you've got great shots of red kites in your film. Did you take them here? Yeah, I took all, uh, all the slow motion shots here. You can see them when they're circling and then they dive down. They, they grab the meat that they put out to feed to feed the kites. The difficulty actually is to kind of to focus on one because there's so many in the sky. <laughs> Every day at uh, two o'clock. Kites know what time it is. We're here at half past one, circling above the kite feeding centre. Did you get some good shots, Ella? Yeah. <laughs> is this the equipment you use to make your film? Yeah, it's a Sony FS700 camera, which has a 70 to 200 Canon lens on the front. But then I've got a, a little doubler as well, a two times extender, so it gets it to about 400 millimetres, which, which is great. Um, this, this camera shoots super slow motion, so that gives me that chance to capture those really fast movement and adds drama to things. <laughs> She's loving this. Congratulations, Simon. Winner of the 2014 Eden Shorts competition. Can't wait to see what people come up with in 2015. Yeah, it should be really exciting. It's a great competition to get involved with. Yours was a wonderful film. Yeah, thank you. Whether admiring a bird on its favourite perch, rolling clouds over a valley, or taking in the intricate detail of a single leaf, the experience of nature is one of awe. To step outside is an escape, a remedy for those who feel unhappy or afraid, grounded by a sense that all is as it should be. Time spent with nature brings a realisation that you don't know it all, and probably never will. The surprising actions of nature should be marvelled, whilst the sight of a soaring bird offer a feeling of freedom. 
whether it is the roar of a giant waterfall or the delicate trickle of a stream, everyone has a part of nature they relate to most. Nature offers a place to get to know oneself, to find solace in its effortless beauty. These swirls of kites are spectacular and inspirational. I hope you've been inspired to enter the Eden Shorts competition 2015. If you fancy joining in this year, head to the Eden website for more information. Go on, have a go.